We're trying to decide whether to circumcise our kid or not. Veronica is leaning towards not circumcising him because it's the all natural way. But now she's leaning towards circumcising him because it goes way back and it's traditional. I don't give a shit about anything except for chilling with this fool and like watching movies with him and shit. All these decisions, she's taking them all so seriously, which is good. I'm glad. Like my client, his kid who had to do it at three today. He's afraid to sit down because it hurts so bad. But Wyatt was like typing in his AI, like, and asking like why they did it in the in the Bible and stuff. And like, essentially it's like your devotion to God. I'm kind of superstitious sometimes. And I was like, all right, if everything goes like really well with my dad, like I'm, I'll do it. Cause then I believe that there is a God. But if yeah. not, then I'm not. There is a seriousness to it. When you're not, you have to be careful because you're more prone to STIs and STDs. Yeah. yeah. Little boys don't clean anything. Right. Like five brothers, we're like muddy and dirty like you're dude. You're still dirty. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> That's what you need to do is you need to talk to uncircumcised and circumcised. That's You don't talk to the mom of someone who had a freak accident. You can't teach a kid to be clean. I was clean. I'm a, I have OCD. Our kid might not be clean. So yeah, I think that we probably should. I am. It would be good for your dad and, and my family too, so let's run it. We're deciding now to circumcise Wolf. The decision has been made. Another important decision you have to make is if you want to keep a part of the court. Veronica. Like $200 a year. That's no, a that's you not a decision. Your... I think that's fucking bullshit. We're not keeping the foreskin the for a thousand dollars. Not the foreskin. It's the umbilical cord. They charge you a thousand dollars to keep your own child's umbilical cord. Ah, uh, I think we're good on that, honestly. It's a decision. You have to no, read the information. You don't just get to go and not know anything about it. Jesse Kaplan's dad, Bill Kaplan, thirty-five years sober. He told me tonight, yeah, just let her run it. I'm not going to be the one paying for it, so I need you to agree. That's incredible. Mason was just saying how he's been insecure about this his whole life. Yeah, when I was younger, playing water polo, you know, kids were just like, they're all circumcised, I mean, and then I'm uncircumcised. So I didn't want to, like, be a part of just because I felt different. I felt insecure about having skin. A lot more kids are going to be intact. But, you know, on the bright side, you know, I've had girls stretch it, play with it, and then you get boosts, and you're like, oh, yeah, I'm the one that's different. So is this the first time that you've talked about this, like, openly? Yeah, you don't talk about this, like, in general, you know? See, the funny thing is, I would have never shared about being uncircumcised if it wasn't for going through Graceland and learning to be comfortable and learning to love myself. You would have just chilled and just been like... And, like, girls yeah. gotta see it hard first. Right. I don't even just show them flaccid anytime. Okay, now we're getting a little 